Hello everyone, welcome to Chirac's PostgreSQL DBA tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to install the PostgreSQL 18 on Windows Server 2025. So step by step process, installation process, we'll go through that and this is the Postgres tutorial. So before you start, prerequisite sites are there, a Windows Server 2025 machines with the administrator account. So I am running with the Windows Server that is running in my VMware workstation, there is a Windows Server 2025 and i am going to access this server with the rdp so this is my server you can able to see windows server 2025 data center edition windows license values for 180 days so just now i have installed this one so this uh, another things are there leave it that's not an issue so step by step guide to the install installer gui installer recommended for the beginner so open the browser and windows server and go to the edb download page download the latest windows installer okay open this one open post gre sql download So, so click on the post is uh, posgri sql download page and select your operating system family and click on the download the installer and this is the 18.08 the latest version for the windows server so you can download from here just click here after clicking this download start in few second so i have already downloaded because this will take some time so go to the download this is the my downloaded file so right click on this and run as administrator Okay, we took wait for wait for a few second so down installer is started so right click on the this one run as administrator and accept the usc user account control so install the installer welcome next install the directory and just select these things so let it start so click on next this is the default path you want to change then you can change the path so i'm installing there postgres server pg admin for i I want stock stack builder. I don't want command line tools. It's okay. So click on next. Next, put the password. So before that, just put the password. And if you want to change the change the port number, then you can change or leave it same age and default. So click on next 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 so installation is started So it will take a few minutes. Let's wait.
okay so installation is completed just click on finish now i'm going to access postgresql go to the all apps go down postgresql is there and i will just gui version is the pg admin so i'll just access with the pg admin so we have done this one and password and other things step by step given there so verify the installer so go to the services.msc and you can check and uh, for the you want to command prompt as your admin then run this one and you can access the postgresql also so now i'll just connect with this so opening and i'll create one database and i'll map when if you want to map user and other privileges so you can go through that so there is just small steps are there so let me access and let me check pg ad postgresql is working or not pg admin is the gui tool for management of for postgresql okay so click on servers here you need to give the password while installing we have given the password admin at the rate one two three and click on okay so server is connected you can able to see the default database default database with the postgres and the database session transaction per second and tuples and other things are there so if you want to create one database so right click on that go to create database give the database name my database and other things you can define the encoding security parameters and as well other things so owner will be the postgres or you can change this one and click on save so my database is saved now <laughs> you want to create the table then go to the schema default schema will be the public inside the public you can create the table so inside the go to the table right click on the table create table so table name just i am giving the users and schema is the public and table space if you want to change or go to the columns add there user underscore id data type integer begin first underscore name or you can select the character i'm going to save this one so done you just table is done now click here and click on the view data so we don't have any data So select asterisk from the users and output is we don't have any data so you're not getting anything so in this video we have learned how to install postgresql 18 on windows server 2025 step by step process i have shown to you so follow the process shown in the video and share this youtube video with your friends and colleagues for any doubts and query please write on the youtube video comment section subscribe to my channel for more free certification tutorial and learning content hope this will help thank you for watching don't forget to follow like share and comment thank you